Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play on the channel, playing as Italy. I was just sitting here, thinking, dreaming about the Roman Empire in 2023, and I thought, why not? Let's try and rebuild it. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Alrighty, starting things off in 2017, let's get stuck into the series. Now, we are using no NATO, no EU. So, some new mechanics have been added to Italy. We've got the Mafia mechanic. Hilarious. All right, well, I guess we're going to start off just as a bit of a blueprint. Maybe we just go, like, historically <laughs> where the Roman Empire went. We'll go and take Carthage, which is modern-day Tunisia now. I guess we could move through Gaul, go into Illyria, go into Greece, have the Iberian Conquest. It's going to be interesting to see how well we do. All right, so we're currently a Western Outlook government. What is the tree look like here nice is there anything that's like specific about the roman empire here uh yes restore the roman borders so there actually is a bit of a tree we can go down pax romana as well interesting okay so let's have a look at italy so we are a christian nation um there's no like catholic there are, I, I guess it's cat i'm just being pedantic um, it should be Catholic, I guess. Alright, unfortunately our economy is stagnating. Let's change that to stable growth. How are we going money-wise? Yikes, we're losing 11. Uh, the population tax is quite high. Once we start retaking old lost Roman lands, I'm sure we're going to be able to generate some money back. Seven on the corruption scale. The Italian General Confederation of Labor. Okay. We've got the clergy and the small business. At the moment, we have a large civil. Uh, what's our military? We've got a tiny military spending, so we definitely want to try and up that. But the problem is our money situation is quite terrible. Um, may, I, I think I need to make it at least a sizable military spend. Extensive police. No, let's drop that to basic. Uh, let's drop this as well. Universal basic healthcare. Let's try and drop that as well. Extensive welfare state. Okay. We got to get people off their vineyards. <laughs> Put them to work. We're currently a mixed economy. I uh, eventually want to go with globalized. We've got a volunteer force. Really? Oh, okay. It's not a um, mandatory like conscription. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I knew like Greece and Switzerland have a, a service. Huh. So, volunteer, regional event interventionalism. We've got the officer corps. Uh, what defense factories do we have? Airbus, helicopters, Beretta. Yeah, I was just sort of saying, do we have like a specific Italian defense industry? The Berettas. Cool. All right. Well, let's have a look at our focus tree. Um, I don't know where exactly I want to go. Oh my God, there's so much stuff down here. Do we want to bring in Georgia, Georgia Maloney or whatever her name is? I don't know. Anyway, the new sick man of Europe. Yikes. So I guess we start that. It's a reference to the Turks, I think. Or maybe we should go down the industry. Yeah, actually, we might need to do that. Is that Augustus? <laughs> Tourism is our oil. <laughs> that, that's uh, so true. <laughs> okay, so... We can ask Germany and France for a bailout, but that's going to give them influence. I could ask the IMF for some loans. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, wow. So, we've got the Italian mafiosos. All right, got to watch ourselves when we go through the streets of Napoli. Or Naples. Um, bonus. Okay, we've actually got some decisions as well. Bonus stimulus check. One-time payment bonus. Yikes. Italy has a lot of issues. <laughs> oh, my God. Conquering should fix that. All right. So, let's get with an intelligence agency. Um, I don't even know what it is. So, I guess it's the Department of Information Security. A-I-S-E. Let's create them. Research-wise. Wow. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Slots. Okay, so rifles-wise, we're already than better than the Greeks. So we can get an ARX-160A3. 
Looks cool. All right, let's get one of those. Um, we've actually got pretty good... Command and control equipment. Interesting. Uh, what do we got? Centauros. Okay, we were naturally producing Leopard 1 A5s. Seriously? I guess we must have had some German blueprint. Okay. 1995. We could get a better tank. Uh, artillery. We've got our self-propelled artillery. And then just your basic stingers and javelins. Decent navy as well. We can produce our own air wings. Same with bombers as well. I'm actually impressed of how much of a massive difference there is in the Greek slash... Italian military industrial complex just because I'm coming straight off to, uh, straight off after recording that last series So let's go with increasing our industrial base all over and I reckon fuel is probably going to be an issue here in Italy Okay, so diplomacy wise can I have a bit of a look at how we sit diplomatically in the world who likes us the most? Oh, Spain, France, Germany. It's because we've got military factory. Uh, sorry, uh, military bases in a lot of places. Stability is fine. War support very low. Manpower is incredibly low. We have 52 factories. All right. We're going to turn off Gucci and <laughs> start producing weapons, I suppose. Um, two oil. Mm, two light. Zero rubber. Yeah, petroleum's what's really going to let us down. Two tech metals, 65 steel, precious, precious metals as well. Oh, wow, we got 20 out of 29 civilian factories. That's fantastic. Well, normally you can focus on civilian factories and then eventually military. We're in a situation where we can kind of skip that because what's our production? Uh, it's 15, so it could be a little bit higher. But because we're in such a financial situation, we're going to build some office sectors. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be realistic. So, most of our industrial hub will be up here. Well, there's not so much economic development in the south. So, I guess we'll try and start off here. So, how long is that going to take? February 2019. So, it's still going to take two years. So, let's get a office sector in Lazio. And I think we're going to get some synthetic refineries as well on the next side there. Okay. So, let's start off with... Dropping all this equipment in. Um, I think I might just get one of everything. Because we can probably spare it. Just to give me a little bit of an idea of what sort of materials we're going to be importing. We've got the Puma. We've got the Dardu IVF. Oh, so we are naturally producing the Leopard 1A5. That's not too bad of a tank. It's not an A2, but... Do we really need to upgrade this? Oh. They produced the MLRS. Or well, they have a blueprint for it. Huh, okay. Oh my god, look at all this fighter aircraft. Sick. Um, tornado, Lightning 2s. We got the Predator drones. Yikes. We got some pretty decent close air support. We can go with a Generation 5 fighter, Lightning 2. Well, let's get one of those. Even though they'll take a little bit longer. Let's go with the MAX close air support. Let's go with a UAV. And then I think I might just leave it at that. We might get a helicopter, actually. Okay, Navy-wise. How big's our Navy? Five fleets. Oh, my God. We've actually got a massive Navy. Bring back the triremes. <laughs> uh, let's go with convoys. We've got eight dockyards. So we can actually, like, not so much focus on, like, little shocking submarines. Uh, I would highly recommend if you've got a small naval indus industry and you only can build convoys, build s uh, and some, like one other thing, buy subs because they're so good. Um, what do I want? Do I want this one? The 2010? So let's go with an attack sub. Uh, we've got some battle cr uh, ships and cruisers as well. So let's go with a battleship. Let's go with a corvette and a destroyer. We actually can get a carrier, which is interesting. That's going to take ages to build, though. Let's get a frigate for screening. 
and we could go with an older style of ship. Was it the helicopter hull? We don't have any of those. Let's go with that. All right, I'm actually just really surprised. The divisions aren't the best with our manpower sitting pretty low. That's something we have to keep an eye on. Uh, logistics wise, it's mostly rifles and support equipment you want to look at. Okay, so 10 cases, not that much. Jeez, we don't have we have we don't have any main battle tanks. Are you kidding me? What the hell's in this? We'll find out eventually once we unpause. But yeah, okay. So at the moment we've got we've only got 13 divisions. I've been talking smack comparing Greeks, Greece and Italy's industry, but we have nowhere near as many divisions or tanks. Oh my god, only 3 men. We've got absolutely nothing. We've got such a small army. 13 is quite pitiful. Um, Navy-wise, two carriers, though. Three helicopter, ten destroyers, seven frigates, eight attack subs, a whopping 14 corvettes. Well, let's grab everyone, and we'll move to... I'm assuming this is like the port of Ostia. I, I could be wrong. And what aircraft do we have just sitting about? Okay. 16, 7 UAVs. We don't have any close air support from what I can see, so that's not the best. Alright, um, I can have a look around here. So yeah, I think going after Tunisia is probably the first plate. Now we do have Vatican City there. Um, we could... Can I? I can't even attack the Vatican, can I? <laughs> I was like, maybe I can bring them fully under my occupation. There's also um, San Marino here as well. Should we allow them to exist? I don't know. Alright, so where do I begin? So I think we just move everyone at least to... We've, got some, we've actually got some surprising good generals. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose we'll move you to here for now. Uh, there's no um, overseas territory that I'm missing. There's no islands that they occupy now. I don't know my Italian ge geography that well. Who owns that? Spain. There's no, like, little, like, we don't have roads anymore or anything. No, <laughs> right. All right, let's continue on. Okay. So, let's go and focus on our industry. Alliance-wise, I don't really know if we want to lean on anyone. Let's go with uh, Italian industry, though. We want to subjugate everyone. Okay, so... Now that we're starting to fill some of this out, what, who, what's operating with this? There's literally one Leopard. 18 Propel Howitzers. We've got some German equipment, though. But yeah, this is uh, going to be a tough series early on. So let's get our navy here in Sicily. Let's move everybody south. And we'll make plans and preparations to go and retake Carthage. So our next election is 2018. We do currently have a coalition. The Italian industry has now been complete. Okay, where do we even start? Um, I suppose continuing to upgrade the north. I think that's what we should really focus on. Just getting our industry absolutely tip-top. Go after some of these smaller factions. Then we will move into some of the larger factions. Oh, an allied party leaves the coalition. Uh, that's a little bit worrying. The US is giving us supply okay nice so we actually can see what we need resource wise now we do have a bunch of civilian factories so who do i want to import from canada's a lot closer australia is pretty far away so let's negotiate with canada to try and get those precious materials tech metals we can get them from australia but i think they have to go through the suez yeah, I guess we go with Australia. 
And rubber. Let's... Cote d'Ivoire isn't too far away. Indonesia's pretty far. If they're already going on that route from Australia, how, f how hard would it be just to stop over in Indonesia? Hang out in Bali for a little bit. Alright, how's our money going? It's 14 still. Okay, we're building up some political power because I wanted to drop this again. It was the basic universal healthcare, I think. Yikes. And, yeah, let's drop that as well. Alright, okay. Slowly but surely moving all our units over. So, and then we'll start setting up some plans for naval invasions. But... Italy is hosting a bunch of military face, uh, bases from former NATO countries. And Tunisia is not backed by anyone. But they are Western Outlook, which is interesting. We have a huge debt at the moment. We're going to continue to expand our civilian capacity where we can. So what does this specifically do? We lose 30 billion. Population plus 10 tax revenue as well. Okay, so now we're starting actually to put up our manpower, which is quite nice. All right, well, let's make plans and preparations to reclaim Carthage. We're going to be declaring war upon Tunisia. I think going towards the south will be the play. We can use that port as a launching pad to get into the interior. Let's rally up the navy as well from the Roman port of Ostia. Six-star commander's not too bad. I actually have no idea how big Tunisia's military is. Not the largest country, but we should be all right. Um, while we're there, we might push against Algeria. We'll see. Um, obviously, historically, the Romans chased Carthage all the way up to southern Iberia as they controlled a lot of it as well. So we will have to deal with the mafiosos and the criminal underworld throughout this campaign. So that's something to keep an eye on. But it's February 2017. Uh, we're still in a governmental crisis. Tourism is our oil. That's what we're going through. But hopefully we can get the country back on track as we slowly but surely try to build the Roman Empire at is its historic height. Hopefully we can do it. It's going to be interesting. So I guess we're the Roman Republic now. Fuel-wise, not too bad. We might need to look to import it. Uh, unfortunately, our economy has stagnated again. Seven on the corruption index. We're losing 11 billion as well. The French and Americans want to give us access to their satellites. That's okay. Um, I think focusing on civilian and military infrastructure, building offer sectors as well will give us money. Oh, nice. We can actually add a command for our army. Oh my god, there's actually a lot of these. I'm surprised we've got that many expert commanders. Okay, I think we'll go with that one. Okay, so just waiting for the naval invasion plan to complete and then we'll retake Carthage okay let's declare war upon Tunisia and let's go so I wonder if we're going to get access to renaming some of these settlements here we'll see okay so let's go with close air oh interesting we got no Air supremacy over the top, as we haven't got any jets in that role. Okay, so we have been intercepted. But the bubble seems to be in our favour. Nice. Sweden wants to send us some military reinforcements. Okay, let's make a front line and move to conquer the country. So they've got three divisions inactive. They've got an estimated between four and seven only two factories, so air supremacy, we can throw in more of our navy. We should be alright. We've only got 60 convoys, so not everyone was able to land in the initial. Oh, nice. We're surging through. Sweden cancelled their military aid. Still have French and 
American satellites over the top. Okay, they're fifty percent to towards capitulation. Oh my god, we've only we've only lost three Romans, three Italians. We've taken out a thousand. Hey, nice, fully capitulated them. Um, we'll take everything. So where was the old Gamantian territory? Oh, probably like further south towards Libya. Nah, we'll just straight up occupy it. And that's a huge border now with Algeria. Hmm. I suppose while we're there, we could go against them, but the only problem is we will be moving into France's old colonial sphere of influence. I don't know if they guarantee the independence of Algeria. That could be potentially the issue. But anyway, let's make a front line on the Algerian border and look to continue. I only really want the coastal territory near Algiers. I'm not too fussed about the stuff in the Sahara, like in the deep desert. Got some jets we can bring in it now. Oh, nice. We actually managed to acquire some jets that can operate and t try and take control of air supremacy. Um, I think that's fine. Won't need to navally invade now. Algeria should have a larger army. And then I guess we could maybe move into Morocco. Bring Tingi. Tingis under our control. Um, I think we should reduce this quite a bit. Let's reduce the healthcare and elderly budget. Got it down to 9 billion. Was 11 before at stagnation. Okay. Alright, let's declare war upon Algeria. It doesn't seem like the French guarantee their independence. So we should be able to move on in. Nice. And the war between Algeria and the Romans is about to begin. We've unlocked a naval commander. Screening, maybe. Usually, there's not too many fantastic commanders or expert commanders from the officer corps that we can usually get. So they have, oh, between 12 and 22. Okay, so they actually might have military supremacy over. Why aren't we moving? My fuel is empty. We probably need to get more fuel. Let's try and get it from the Americans. It's a lot closer. Why aren't we going? Oh, maybe I need to redo it. Hang on. Whoops, a daisy. Why isn't it? Yeah, hang on. Let's redo this real quick. Alright, is this going to... Wait, no. Hang on. Why is it going from that? Hang on. Just throwing. Giving them time to organize and cement themselves. There we go. No, it's this one. There we go. That's what we roughly want. Right. Go, 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 go. All right. <laughs> Instantly start pushing them back. I reckon the Algerian military probably has a wide variety of foreign equipment and material. Probably from all the major players. They still have some decent number of divisions. They probably just don't have... The proper armor. Okay, so... Stuff's going down in Sicily. And Calabria. Still need to watch out for the... Mafia and the crime gangs and stuff. Um, oh, okay. February 2018. Yeah, so... It looks like... Unfortunately, this coalition is probably going to fail. But as long as we stay... Western outlook, it's going to be okay, I think. I haven't decided if I'm going to change the outlook at some point. Keeping it Western outlook, which is what the majority of Europe is, we could get more territory under our control. Oh, wow. The Algerian Air Force is actually beating us here. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's definitely something we need to improve. Because I want to recall... Uh, I want to call the old Roman provinces of Gaul, Hispania, Greece, but... Do the Romans want to have territory over the Danube? The Italians? Do we want to control Germany? Probably not. We might puppet them. 
Same with like Poland and Ukraine and stuff. We'll see. Okay, so let's reallocate this. But so far doing quite well in this war. Still trying to build up our civilian and economic base. Pushing a lot better in the south, which is surprising. Crushing a unit there. Did we just liberate a faction there? I don't know. Most of the territories on the coast. So we've lost 200 to their 9k. We're gaining more factories as well. Okay, we're slowly but surely continuing to push them back. Yeah, if we can take Algiers, that'd be good. Emmanuel Macron has been elected president of France. I'm assuming it's president, not prime minister. No, they're a republic, aren't they? Um, Air Force commander now. As the Air Force is struggling over the top in Algeria. They're going to need some support. Um, experience, command, air supremacy. A bonus to that's probably good. Okay, so now we're operating a bit better over the top. Is it because we're occupying their airfield? Oh, no, they moved them back. Yeah, we occupied the um, airport just outside Algeria. Or Algiers. Okay, let's continue to build up our economic base. Nice, crushing another division. Yeah, so our stability is getting kind of low. What well, says? Wait, no, we've got 100 stability. What? Forza Italia. Okay. So they are Western. Yeah, it's fine. I was just double checking. Not like it matters too much. Alright, we're pushing towards their capital now. And what we really want is these crucial coastal naval territory. Those dockyards. I don't really care about the far interior. Alright. Algeria's capital is now under siege. And it is now under our control. They mustn't going to be holding for too much longer. It's ballooned to 500, but we've absolutely decimated their army. Which what seems to be with superior IVFs, tanks, and mechanized equipment more or less. Still continuing to do quite well. And then we've got a decision to make with some of their territory. I'm kind of tempted to maybe pop at them. Because I guess they're the descendants of... Well, there must be people here that were... Namidians. So I think I want this coastal territory first, just to have a look at it. Yeah, so we'll take that. Do I really care about this back bit? I guess I can pop at them. We can liberate these guys? No. I think I pop at Algeria down here. There's probably not much there, but I don't think we necessarily want... Oh, it's a bit of fuel. But it is important to pop it to some extent to get divisions and basically two access of recruitment and deploying. And importantly, we can create a faction eventually. So pop it in Algeria now. And we've extended to the coast of North Africa. Now we're going to have to deal with Morocco, which is probably easier said than done. I imagine they are militarily far stronger because there's that um, separatist province near Mauritania that's trying to break away from them so let's move everyone over so I do think that they've probably got a bigger military let's move on over nice we've acquired some of the Algerian Air Force and I would imagine that we've probably acquired their Navy as well to some extent Okay. Still continuing. Yeah, I think we just focus on civilian projects and then we can do other conquering stuff. We're going to need way more fuel. Uh, we need rubber. Let's get that from Indonesia. Let's get more technology metals from Australia. And let's get some precious metals from Canada if we can. Oh, maybe we can't. Because we're in so many active wars, it's just sometimes easier to 
keep the fuel flowing. Uh, let's put some into convoys as we are navally invading quite a bit and into submarines. Probably I want to redraw this as well. Rebase them a little bit closer and let's go with convoy rating. All right, well, let's probably get some units in production because we still are get, we're getting to a point where we're a little bit low. And we've got a bunch of base material now that we've acquired from taking Algeria and Tunisia. So I'm sure we've got a bunch of spare equipment in storage. So let's get some divisions in Rome. We've only still got about, what is it, 13? We could, if we can get to about 50 eventually, ideally, that'd be good. And we'll, we will be able to request units from some of our puppets as well. But so far... Slowly but surely, progressing quite well. Building up our sector, just need to get our economic woes and issues back on track. Going to ask the Americans for some more fuel, we will bail out the Algerian government. And Air Force wise, let's try and move you over. Yeah, so there is a small Algerian Navy. Interesting. So they're going to be able to help out. All right, I'm curious to see how this one's going to go out. Okay. Uh, we could go... No, I think I should save up for globalized trade. We're going to get to a point where we're going to have a huge and large variety of... ...resources from Europe and North Africa. Okay. Still a fair few on that border. Alright, still doing undercover operations in Sicily. We can add more from our officers' corps. We probably should do that. More construction has been complete. Nice. Okay. The time is nigh. So, war against Morocco. And we'll try and do the same thing. Capture some of the coastal territory. And then... Not too fussed about the rest. Okay. What's that? Yellow. Oh, does Spain actually occupy some... Militarized zones there? Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try and get some more fuel from the Americans again. The last thing we want is... Our tanks, our air force and navy not to run fully. We'll be giving the Americans influence in our country, but it's probably not too bad. Okay, we can request some units now from Algeria. Interesting, so they aren't pushing. So what do they got? Yeah, so Algerian, some Russian equipment. Okay. We do have air supremacy over the top. We've dropped it down to 6 billion instead of 9. Iraq is at war with the Kurds. Interesting. So, it seems like the Moroccan Air Force is nowhere near as good as the Algerian. Still on convoy raiding. Oh, and we're starting to do it now. What did we hit? Two Moroccan convoys. Nice. Yeah, if we can focus on... Tingi, essentially. 
Oh wow, Jerry is actually capitulating a bit. We lost 52, managed to take out 10k of them. Oh, it's because they're pushing against them. Uh, I can request another lot of divisions. Let's do that. And we'll try and bring them into this main line that we're pushing. We're unlocking de uh, land doctrine points now. Still operating with air supremacy and naval. Okay. So it looks like we're probably going to be able to wrap up this war even easier than the war against Algeria. Okay, so they are starting to hold now. Looking at the topography of Morocco, we're, we seem to be moving near a mountainous chain. Uh, oh, we're out of fuel again. I might need to look into ensuring fuel on mainland Italy. I might need to go into that because that's what's really letting us down once again. Now we're going to have to try and... Oh my god, we need like 72 barrels. Okay. Yikes. It halted our push there slightly. Alright, maybe we need to focus on actually building fuel silos. Because we just can't seem to store that much. Okay, we're pushing from Algerian territory now. Still very much focusing on the coast. Our stability is dropping quite a bit. Our war support's up. Nice, we can get a better quality ARX rifle variant. Still got a bunch of manpower now that we're starting to acquire more population and core them. It was 50 to 100k at one point. Now it's like 800k. So we can fill up those divisions now. Yeah, the Americans are slacking a bit. So maybe we need to talk to Russia to get more fuel. We're acquiring more military buildings. So let's deviate some of those. Um, I think focusing on our fuel and civilian. Yeah, so we're going to go with fuel refinery too. That should help. And upgrading our fuel storage. Things have slowed down a little bit here as we've come into a bit of mountainous terrain. Yeah, we need tech metals for some of the high-tech ships. Oh my god, the carrier's coming in 48. That's so far away. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably not a bad idea if we want to be the main prominent power in the Mediterranean. It's just going to take some time. Okay. I can't see us losing this war. We've got them on the back foot. Only a matter of time before Morocco falls. And who were here historically? Was it the Gatulian tribe? I can't remember. Oh, we've lost a thousand now. So this is going to be our highest costly war. And now we're going to try and push for their capital. We are surrounding them quite well. Nice. Let's just try and push. Yeah, our economy continues to stagnate. Let's go with stable growth. Alright. Slowly but surely chipping away against Morocco. Not too far away from falling. Hey, they've capitulated. Alright, well. We can puppet them straight up. So I think I want to take this coastal territory. Um... So that, that, uh, how far? Do I want all the coast down there? It's a little bit weird. If you can con connect them, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll start off with that. Right, so that connects. Should I give this interior bit to Algeria? Yeah, because I only really care about the coast and it'll make it a little bit more connectable and I suppose I puppet Superfire in the south yeah because I'm pretty sure they weren't that far south I don't want to liberate them no let's just puppet Morocco and move them to the state of West Sahara I suppose 
So the Moors have capitulated. We've increased Algeria's side. And we now connect up there. Nice. So unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for episode 2 coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we're going to make plans and preparations to go into France, reclaim the province of Gaul. We might even take Hispania, bring Spain back under Roman occupation if we have time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.